Feet. Feet. No feet. No feet. 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 No. No. No feet. Maybe. Feet. No feet. No feet. 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 No feet. No feet. No feet. Feet. Today we're going to be playing Bloom Star Defense 6 with monkeys that do not show their feet. This was actually a video that a video idea that you guys came up with, believe it or not, because I wasn't planning on doing this until you guys made it in my mind. So, yeah. But let's get the ground rules down. So, the basic idea is that we have to use monkeys that do not show their feet. Like, of course, we would assume that this monkey has feet, but we cannot prove that he has feet. So, therefore, we must assume that he has no feet. But, there's some weird upgrades that may indeed prove that these submarines had feet all along. And all we need to do is just not use any monkeys upgrades that actually have feet in them. That's pretty much all we've got going on here. So, let's have some fun. As long as we don't see feet, we're good to go. As far as heroes go, we got feet, 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 feet. Oh my god, Pat Fusty's got feet. Azili's got feet. Ben's even got feet, man. Adora's got feet. Captain Brickle, if you look really closely, she's got a foot. She's got a foot. Of course, Etienne's got a foot, Sai's got a foot, and Sada's got a foot. So it means that we can't use a hero unless we use the only footless hero in the game, Captain Churchill. Again, can we confirm that he has no feet? Well, all three of his upgrades do not have feet, so maybe he is actually built into this tank and is actually part of his own body rather than him controlling it. Either which way, we're allowed to use Churchill. Now that we've got that out of the way, I just want to say really quickly that if you're going to argue with anything, any, uh, argue about anything to me about, you know, having feet and not having feet and all this crap, well, all I'm going to say to you is I made up the challenge and I kind of make my own rules. So if you think saying that I'm breaking my own rules, well, you could just straight up suck my balls. All right. So uh, unless I actually officially cheat, I hope hopefully that doesn't happen. Like hopefully I don't upgrade a texture and I find out later that it like, grew feet or something like that because that would be terrible. But anyways, we're going to start off with a nice footless tower here. Feetless? Footless? I don't know. But we're going to go foot loose today with our <laughs> delicious tax. Even more tax. Oh yeah, we got to get this going. I think we got to go straight into a high tax shooter play here. I may, I may even go fancy and go all the way up to like an Inferno Ring or something. Because I really don't have that many options available to me. Um, I think the weirdest thing about this entirety of this situation here is basically any monkey that actually does show their feet... You really are locked into them having feet the entire time in every single one of their pictures. I've looked through pretty much every single monkey, and there's a few here and there that might be argued. And I think there's one that I I, I think I would go deep with this guy. But of course, it would be very difficult to pull off, but I still may end up doing that. And that's the Druid. All right. Now, if you look at all these upgrades here, clearly, feet, 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 feet. But Spirit of the Forest, can we confirm that he has feet or has he grown new rooted feet? I mean, I, I would argue that maybe, maybe, man, maybe. I don't see no feet in here. Do you do you see a foot? That could maybe be a foot, but it looks kind of goofy if it is a foot. It looks more like a root to me. I'm going to argue. I'm allowed to use Spirit of the Forest, man. Does that mean we'll actually use the Spirit of the Forest? Eh, probably not. I, I, don't, I don't know. It'd be very difficult to make that actually happen today. But I'm just still going to leave that option on the table for me. Uh, just in case something cray-cray happens, and I really need, like, something that's going to be able to, uh, you know, help me out late game here. Right, so we've got Taxiter dominating so far. I think I'm going to try to jump into a Spike Factory and just rely on a 2-2 uh, Taxiter to kind of keep me in the game for a while. But i got to be careful here. So if anything sneaks through this defense, i got nothing right now. I need to survive at least one more round here. And I think we got Yellow Bloons coming up pretty soon. Yeah, Yellow Bloons. All right. Dunzo. Yes. All right, and Spike Factory is up. Okay, I'm going to throw him... Yeah, I'm going to throw him. I'm throwing him to the very, very back here. Just like... Shabling. Might end up going for a... A nice footless uh, perma spike here. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling. I don't use perma spike all that often, but when it works, man, it just works. So, so, so. Anyways, we've got a great footless strategy. I think the next thing we have to get is we got to go our, for our footless hero. He's two thousand one sixty bucks, though. So we're gonna hope that this combo just kind of defends everything. So far, going pretty well, though. And I'd call this a fairly early Churchill, but I don't honestly know where to put him. I think this is probably good enough. I think I can reach all the way over to this little area right here if I do have to chase. Uh, and then I kind of got a pretty decent-ish straight line kind of area over here, which is kind of nice. Uh, but I think our biggest issue here is actually we're limited in a lot of different ways. We do have villages, which helps us out a lot, but we don't have alchemists, which for a lot of these towers would really, really, really help us out. Luckily, we did think ahead, and there is a footless tower that is allowing us to pop camo balloons. Um, at least reasonably well for now. Uh, and then eventually, Churchill will hopefully be our camo balloon popping power. 
uh, eventually. And hopefully that all, you know, kind of works out and everything in the end. Uh, I got everything covered, man. I got the lead popping power. I got a decent amount of popping power. I think I'm just going to go for uh, an overdrive at this point. And then I'm going to try to get a village going pretty quickly as well to kind of buff everybody up and make this all good. So I wanted to touch on something really quickly. I noticed that YouTube algorithm is, for my community posts, is sometimes, I don't want to call it sexist or racist, but one of, one of the words of, of that where they do not like when you talk about sometimes controversial topics. And in this case, I didn't even think I talked about anything too controversial. I asked if you had nice feet. Now, I, uh, personally, I'll admit, I straight up do not have a foot fetish. It, it's good for me. I mean, it's, I think it's good for a lot of people if you don't have a foot fetish. Because it's kind of like an abnormal brain pattern kind of situation where it was like, it's not supposed to happen, but it just kind of happened. Ooh, yes. crap. We're going to hope that our spike factory is going to be enough back here because I did not get cam detection money in time. All right, spike factory, save the day, please. Usually, if the map's long enough, one spike factory can handle this. Usually. Um, it's going to be tight. And it looks like map's definitely long enough. Easy peasy, man. I'll have to watch out for... Uh, uh, he'll get he'll get camp protection in time. Um, but anyways, oh god, I kind of forgot where I was at. But uh, I noticed that the YouTube algorithm specifically. Oh, I don't have a foot fetish. That's where I was at. I don't have a foot fetish. I am lucky that I don't have a foot fetish. It's actually like a a problem with your brain. Believe it or not, it's kind of like getting your wires crossed in some weird way, where you like enjoy feet when you're not really supposed to enjoy feet as much as you do, or like your uh uh things you find attractive part of your brain gets kind of its wires crossed with the uh, feet part of your brain, and then bam, it just happens. Like I said, it's not supposed to happen. It just kind of happens in some people. I'm lucky enough to say that I am not one of those people. Um, and I don't mean that it's actually a terrible thing if it happens. It just means that it wasn't really designed to happen, per se. It's not the worst thing to happen to you, but it's, it's, it's goofy. It's a little weird. Um, I mean, I, th I think anybody could argue, really, a, a lot of weird fetishes out there in the world and all that, but I'm not going to get into all that nonsense today. Not to get, I'm, I'm actually very lucky. Just the last thing I'll say about it. I don't want to get anybody's anybody's beef or anything like that. I don't want to get too beef-tastic on you guys here. But um, I am lucky to say that I don't have anything too weird as a fetish. Like, nothing too wild. I, uh, at the very least, crazy wild. But for the most part, not even... I mean, I'm fairly nil up, man. I don't nothing too crazy going on over here. All right, here we go. Round 40, Moab coming out. Um, we're going to use our ability here. And it looks like perfect, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful plays. All right, we're going to have to do something big here. But everybody's got feet, man. That's the big problem here. All right, we're going to go for a cannon. That's a nice footless tower. I think I'm going to go for a cannon up here. No. No, we're going to go fancy. We're going to go down here. No, we're going to go over here. Yeah, we're going to have to get too fancy on this crap. We're going to go right here. We're going to go for a middle path cannon. We're going to go for a Moab assassin. Now, this is weird. But I have a feeling that my MOA popping power will be a little bit goofy to deal with here. So I'm thinking about going for a straight up MOA eliminator. Um, I think the money right now is pretty good. Our popping power is okay. I think at the very least I'll get primary training. And then if I can save up for it, MOA eliminator would be my next big boy to go for. But I gotta be careful because round 63 is gonna come up um, and be pretty dangerous if I can afford this guy in time. $27,000 is not chump change around here. So I'm a little worried about that. Uh, but I could build... Uh, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I got an idea. Got an idea. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna put him... We're gonna put him right... Right here. Right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This feels... This feels good. Feels real good. Real, real, real good like. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go for a top path. Footless. Ring of fire. And then range might seem a little bit funky right now. But I think if we had, if do end up going for that infernal ring, this will work out really, really well. We're gonna go for the even more tax instead of the longer... <clears throat> instead of the longer range for over here. All right, this is a goofy strategy, but so far, Footless is going pretty well. I think, in addition, I need a little bit more support. I think I need to go for at least one Heli Pilot here. Ooh, let's go Monkey Ace. Uh, ooh, you know what? I got a great idea, bro. I got a great idea. Um, yeah. I don't love this spot, but I feel like it might actually work out for me. We're going to go for a figure infinite like this with Bomber Ace. All right, let's see how this is going to work out. I'm hoping that we just bomb everything kind of all over the place over here. It looks pretty good. I'm not upset. It's got a pretty nice, good little corner shot over here as well. So, yeah. All right. That looks pretty good as far as balloon pop and power goes and everything. <clears throat> Let's hope that we just kill everything for a little while. All right. Anyways, the entire point of my entire story about the feet thing and all the weird stuff was actually that I think that YouTube's algorithm specifically put my posts down at the very bottom. 
like normally I would get about 20,000 votes on something and if it's you know not super popular maybe like 10,000 but for some reason this post about feet specifically got like 2,000 votes in the same amount of time uh, which is absurdly low like 10 times as low if not more than 10 times as low as usual specifically YouTube did not like that question all right, they did, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's weird. Maybe they think it's a little too, a little too goofy, or again, a little too controversial for their liking. But I don't think it's that goofy to ask if you, if, you, if your feet are nice. I'm not specifically out there to, uh, to find people who have really nice feet or something like that. Though maybe there are some YouTubers out there that are like, yeah, yeah. Let me find, let me find whoever's got the nicest feet. Have a nice feet competition or something like that. That'd be pretty goofy. I'll admit it. Though I might also be getting on the the YouTube algorithm's bad side here by. Uh, by saying feet 600 times in one video. That could be bad, too. I don't truly know. I don't truly know. You never know, man, because you know that they are listening to me. They check every single video. It takes them, like, 20 minutes to check a video. You know they're checking for music and crap, and they're also checking for, uh, uh, whatever else they can get their hands on, man. All the words and everything. So here we go. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Mobile Editor. I'm going to wait to Run 63, though, because if I lose to Run 63, I want to know that I can leave and come back and do something different but so far mob eliminator baby going good all right so normally i think at this point in the game i'd probably go for the extra range and stuff but i actually feel like i'm doing better off with a bigger bombs heavy bombs combo for no reason other than i want it and then we're going to leave this guy on strong instead of first so he hits the mobs we're going to hope that he actually goes through and kind of explodes everything along the way here and then if this is going smooth man as long as we have enough balloon popping power to kind of keep everything down I would love an Infernal Ring, and that's going to just really prove that feetless towers are superior to towers with feet, because we are absolutely dominating right now. I got to admit, man, this is good. Like, I have no issues whatsoever, and this is it's an easy-ish map, but it's not an automatic super easy map or anything like that. I think one weird thing here is we've used, I think, every single footless tower except for the Heli Pilot. Again, we can't confirm that this guy does or doesn't have feet. But I think it's pretty fair to say he most likely... Oh. Well, he's not part of the Heli Pilot Squad, though. But yeah, he, we, we see a foot in this guy. He's, he's part of the team, I guess. So we definitely could not get a special pop operations. Everybody else? No guarantees on feet at all. Maybe even not... Even monkey bodies in some situations. Just could be, like, turned fully mechanical. AI. You know? Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about... I know we've been getting a little deep here. Probably too deep for our own good and all that stuff, but... I don't know if you guys have felt this, but I've felt, like, very, very recently, um, AI has sort of become very mainstream very, very quickly. Now, we've all, always heard about artificial intelligence sort of, like, off in the distance or off in the background or something like that. Now we're getting to the point where AI is, like, being talked about by, by a lot of people, and AI is actually interacting with people and or people's lives in things like school and stuff like that. If you can have... An AI just write your paper for you. That's pretty sweet. Like, why would you want to write your own paper if you can have an AI write its own paper for you? Um, I even saw like some videos of of AI like uh, this guy like instead of he actually got his I think it was his 3D printer to write out in handwritten letters his paper. <laughs> so he like he had. I think it was ChatGPT or whatever. Write like write his paper and then actually take that written paper and then handwrite it. So basically, I know it took a lot of work to make all of that happen, but the AI uh, existence of of ridiculousness, man, of of making that work for you is, is just kind of absurd if you really get down and think about it. And then you hear about the deep fakes of uh, just like random celebrities and things like that, uh, or even the presidents or other people, and it's really really goofy. And then you hear about deep fakes of like popular streamers in. Um, naughty videos. I don't even want to say say the word for that because I might get banned already. I got enough bad words in this entire situation here. Oh, crap. Look at this, man. 76 is a little tricky. We take it down. Um, I might go primary mentoring, but I would love to just jump straight into a, an, an Infernal Ring. I mean, I'm halfway there already, so that would be sweet. If we get an Infernal Ring, though, I'm, I'm just going to pretty much guarantee this game's over. If we don't get an Infernal Ring, though, that's where it's going to get funky. So we might have to do, like, a perma spike first. And that guy could probably carry us through for a long time, but it's not a guarantee. Ooh, uh-oh, all right, Churchill, it's all up to you, baby. Churchill, 
Take it down. All right, that's scary. That's not good. That means our balloon popping power is not quite there. At the very least, we got to get primary mentoring. And I'm probably going to have to use this ability again. Um, and that's really only our biggest weakness so far. It's just grouped ceramics, which is funky because right now there's only minute amounts of mobs and BFPs coming out. But eventually, you get big tons of grouped ceramics, specifically out of like a Zoma God or something like that. And that could also be just as tricky for us. All right, so here we go. We got another big chunk of camos coming out. This time we use our ability a little bit quicker. And with the early ability, we take it down. But again, scary to know that that many group balloons can overwhelm us. Our current strategy is weak against group balloons. All right, that means round 80 is also going to be a little tricky for us. But I have not used my mob eliminator ability yet. And I think if we just pop that guy really, really quickly, maybe it won't be that bad. Um, it'll give, just give us enough time to make it all kind of go down here. All right, round 79 giving us a bunch of extra uh, uh, stuff. Yes, okay. Reinforced balloons, not too shabby. Not too bad. And let's whoop, mob eliminate that. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you even see on the screen? Beautiful. And then we're gonna we're gonna rough these moabs up with that thing, and then I'm gonna use my last ability here to clean up the balloons. And I used all three abilities and still had one red balloon nearly sneak through our defense, but it didn't. We gotta get a spike factor too, so it didn't really almost sneak through our defense. All right, um, I got this guy strong for now. I'm, I'm wondering if I want to switch him to first, but realistically, if I survive like two more rounds, we got Inferno Ring. So, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about that, I gotta admit. Inferno Ring equals GG, especially in this really delicious spot here. All right, a couple uh, tougher reinforced balloons near the end here. Uh-oh, this is where it gets tricky, man. It's really up to uh, Churchill to clean up these balloons here. Come on, come on, come on. Get lucky with some bombs and crap. Mob eliminate. And yes, we do take it down. Just a few more thousand dollars. Please! This is the scariest part of our entire strategy, my friends. Yes. All right, going well, going well. And there we go. Look at that positioning! Now that is a butte right there. An absolute butte. Uh, I don't think we can lose at this point. Um, feetless Towers. Holy crap, are they delicious. Uh, what do we want to do after this, though? You know what? If I can afford it, just to mess with you guys. And I know there's some people out there that are probably still mad at me for saying Spirit of the Forest doesn't have feet. You can suck my balls, bro. I think I'm going to get a Spirit of the Forest. If I can get the money for it. Because here's the thing. If I build this guy, I have to build him. And without him popping any balloons before he gets the Spirit of the Forest, I have to upgrade all of these upgrades. Straight there. So I've got to get 37 plus 5 plus 1 plus these previous upgrades. So, yeah, about 43, 44,000, something like that saved up. And that's going to be a little difficult to save up in 13 rounds. But I think doable. We'll have to see how it goes. But I think I think doable. Very much doable. All right, round 87 bunches. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Are we annihilating stuff right now? This is almost absurdly uh, powerful. I, I, think I've, I, I think I've found the solution to, to everything. Even if I got this strategy on, like, whatever that new stupid map is where they got the little curve in the top there. I forget the name of it. Whatever that map is, I think I could do. I could, think I could pull off this strategy as well on that. I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. All right, DDTs, though. DDTs. Oh, hey, okay. That was a little trickier. That was indeed a little trickier, and I'm not sure how that's going to go down for round 95. Um, we'll have to test it out with round 93 before we get too cray-cray up in here, and then if that does fail... I don't know what I'm going to do, because I really don't have that many other, like, options available to me to do anything too crazy here. Um, I could swap to a Spike Factor strategy. I don't want to do it. But if I have to, I have to. Right now, I have a Black Chips medal going for me. I'd like to keep it, but I'm not above exiting out. Uh-oh. All right, DDTs. It seems like the Inferno Ring is doing its job. By the time the DDTs actually get in the range here, they have to go through a lot of Inferno Ring blasts to actually sneak through there. And that, that's the tricky part for them. All right, round 94 should be a nice big money level for us. And maybe even uh, enough money to afford a Spirit of the Forest before the end of this one. Maybe. Maybe. If I build it, I think I'm going to build it in the very back back here, though. It's kind of goofy. I think I just have to. All right, we're going we're to turn off auto start here. And then if I survive, we're going Spirit of the Forest, man. Got to make sure I math that out before I, I get it, too. So I don't want you guys to, to think I'm cheating here. Oh, crap. There's a lot of blues. All right, this is, this is going to be rough. Inferno Ring is still doing its job. Seems like we got things kind of flow in here. Uh, Churchill ability nearer to the end of the map. Nearer to the end of the round. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Let's eliminate the last CDT and bam, shazam. Oh, I hit the next round. Okay, that's okay. We're just going to do it after this round. Spirit of the Forest, man. 
jump right to it. Oh, yeah, let's put him like... Yeah, I could put him anywhere, really. Where do we want to put him? I guess here is good. Here feels... It feels right. All right, let's slow this... Yeah, let's speed it up. All right, ready for this? Spirit of the Forest. Bup, 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 And I guess I will go for... Thunder. Why not? He might get... He might get very few pops by the end of this game. I mean, of course, he's going to get some just because the vines will eventually spread everywhere. But as far as regular attacks go, I think it's going to be near zero. If not actually zero. But I should watch out. Round 100 could actually be difficult for us. Um, I don't want to overthink it too much, but dang. Could be, t could be tricky. All right, here we go. Big abilities from Churchill. Oh, yeah. Churchill, baby. All right, we got to hope that... Uh, oh, look at this money. I wish I could make that. Round 99. Turn auto start back on just because, even though it's one more round. DDTs. Mmm. Mmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Spirit of the Forest. Come on, Spirit of the Forest. Do it. <laughs> oh no. Round 99. Defeated. All right, there goes our Black Chimps medal, guys. And it was kind of an idiotic move, too, because I had, I had the money to make it happen. We're going to go Spike Storm here. I think I'm going to go for a double dose. Just like another random Spike Factory over here. Let's get a Moab Shredder with White Hot Spikes as well over here. That should pop some of the DDTs as well. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I, I guess it just sucks. I don't really think I needed all of my abilities for round 98. But I just used it anyways. And that's kind of screwing me over here. All right. Um, Churchill ability as soon as I get the money for it. Spike Storm. That's going to clean them all up. Oh, yeah. Look at that Spike Storm. Beautiful. Beautiful. And one more to go. The Bad Balloon. And we got a Mobile Eliminator. Look at the pop count on this guy. Do not underestimate a $27,000 tower if positioned in the right place and used properly. He's actually really good. I'm actually curious if I could do like a a two uh, two mega pop challenge with a mobile, uh, a mobile Eliminator. That would be really fun and interesting. All right, DDTs. Taken down. Churchill Abilities. Boom, boom. Double it up. Double dose of destruction with a mobile limb combo. And that's going to clean him up. Oh my god! Monkeys! Or towers with no feet! Are so destructive. And we get almost a million pops with our Inferno Ring. Yeah, these two guys really did own. I mean, that's that's like three-fourths of the total pops. Churchill got 320. Kind of makes sense, I guess. 54 for this guy. Not bad for the amount of money we spent. And then also very much not bad for the amount of money we spent on this guy. Overdrives are good, too. And then, uh... What? I did not have had 60k for getting him so late in the game. But he's also doing pretty good for us. Either which way, uh, we survived, we did well, and the Feetless Towers will now go into free play. Okay, I could be down for that. How far can we go with Feetless Monkeys? Um, our biggest weakness is still DDTs. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna stop these DDTs, but right now it seems like this strategy right here is actually going pretty well. Oh, Spike Storm. Whew, it's a little scary. But two Spike Storm combos might actually, oh crap. This is really relying on Spirit of, Spirit of the Forest here to clean these guys up. Oh boy. We might not survive very long with these feetless monkeys or feetless towers. Footless, foot loosed. All right. Explode more crap. Once you get rid of the mob layer, Spirit of the Force just cleans up the rest, man. It's beautiful to watch. You know what? I'm a little sad. There are two towers that I did not use that are feetless. I did not use the subs because I have no water. And I didn't really use heli pallets very much. You know, I feel like I totally could have used heli pallets in some decent way. I don't know what I would have done, but even a Moab shove probably against these DDTs would be good enough. Uh, and I'll just put them on pursuit. Just to, Whoa! Look at these DDTs. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Alright, kill them all. Kill them all. We've got a few more left. Oh! There it goes! Run 106. I had... I guess I had an ability or so, but I think we fought of it. We fought a good fight. Look at that. One camo yellow. Come on! Any which way, if you guys enjoyed this funny and weird video, make sure you press that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Hopefully I don't get banned over this video because you just never know, man. You just, you just never know. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.